Howdy Cutters, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how I like to take apart the front of an industrial gecko and get at the candy center inside. Now the way that I've seen most people do this is by either cutting holes in the floor or by extracting them out the long neck, and either of those are fine. You can do it. Um, my issue with that and the challenges I've had there is that every time you bring a terminal around a corner or do anything else to it, pressure, you are essentially dropping. taking the risk of bumping it into something. And each one of those bumps can take away a bit of health, and in the event of the physics being weird, well, you can get real unlucky and have the whole cabin go up and end up with no electronics to show for it. Now the way I like to start here is by taking these frontmost lockers and just kind of lifting them out and getting them moving towards the back of the cabin. Okay, so the gecko is now completely depressurized. Now let's get the coolant safely out of the way. So I'm going to use the tether method for these because I have never once seen it fail. This will of course be the time it proves me a liar. But since it doesn't seem inclined to do that, let's uh, just take these others and get them moving carefully out of the way. Okay, so now those are all loosened up. Let's just take them very gently uh, come off to the side. Alright, we made sure none of those in the way of sparks. Of course, cutting these pops this hatch here. It's handy because it gives us a nice quick way in and out. We'll just send that on towards its new home. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. And give it a friend to keep it company. Oops. Let's do that right this time. There we go. Alright. So now let's get back in here. Make sure all our cuts are good, and the cool ones are out of the way. Yeah, we're good here. And yeah, we see we can tell because if you bump into it, it's already starting to separate a little. So now, now we are ready to get on with what I wanted to show you here. And I apologize for the necessary setup here, but everyone's got their own way of tackling a ship. And I just wanted to show you the approach that I start with. So first things first, let's get ourselves a nice tether turning the front right of the ship where it needs to be. And now that it's moving, we will take each other to the front and use that to bring it on home. Now up until this point, this has probably been the same way most y'all do this. I'll send this coolant on its way. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And that's that working. Salvage deposit. 
deposit accepted. Credits transferred. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first grab this and just kind of get it moving in this direction. Then we'll take the middle of this and tether it off somewhere to the left so it doesn't break line of sight while that thing's still making its way in there. And then we'll give another one on the nose right here. Let's bring it on home. Now what that's going to do is that's also going to nudge that little thing out of the way there. And we can just send that on its way. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. All right. So now we're in. Well, let's just make sure that there's uh, nothing valuable or dangerous sitting behind where we're going to be cutting. Alright, good. This is where we want to be. Now, most of y'all guessed. We're basically just going to cut this thing straight off just like we're an arrow on. So just burn one or two of these floors here. Tether method here, these terminals, to dislodge them. That ain't us. You know, they'll spark and complain. But in the end, they'll do what they're supposed to. moving. Alright, let's get a second tether on there. Let's do a stabilize the direction of the pole a little and make it go a little faster. And voila. Okay, we can cast those. this towards the processor and handle it the same way we did the others. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And what we're left with here. It's just a nice little cluster of goodies. Safely floating free. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. And however you like to deliver those, you can hand deliver them. Makes you feel more comfortable. You can tether them. Or you can just launch them like this. The point is, Salvage secured. you did not have to Account maneuver any applied. of these terminals around any narrow passages. Hold the nose straight off. Salvage and deposit there waiting for you. Credit transfer. And the rest of the ship is now ready to tackle. And you know, usually what we'll do next are things like uh, popping fuses. Salvage secured. Credit deposit. And then just pulling this straight off of there. But I think you get the idea. I hope this has been a helpful video. 
hopefully y'all learned something from it, or at least enjoyed watching it. Thanks very much for your time, and have a safe and productive shift. This is Cutter Alex, signing off.